Iridamba, eh, Iridamba, two maids, Iridamba, eh, Iridamba, two maids. <laughs> it's only those who have watched the movie Two Maids that will be conversant with this uh, Dumba sound. And you wonder, what is this guy saying again, Iridamba? <laughs> if you have watched the movie Two Maids, then I think this video is for you. But if you haven't, you can quickly rush back to our channel now where you can watch Two Maids, then you come back to listen to what we have to say here. This video is going to talk about, um, we're going to have the interviews from the two maids. We want to listen to some words from those two girls, those two ladies that, that took the role of the two maids. Then our experiences, because it's all over the place that this movie has been written for the past 10 years. And why is it that we didn't shoot it that time? Why now? Uh, there are some things that we want to tell you about the movie Two Maids that will be a blessing to you. I tell you, you are not going to waste your data here. So without wasting time, we go straight into it. Um, Esther Additional by name. My name is Adegile Gloomy. So I took the role of um, charity. I played the role of princess in the movie Two Mates. Talking about the movie Two Mates, the movie has been written for, for about 10 years ago when I was in the university. I think I was in my part two when I wrote the movie Two Mates. When we were writing the movie, there was this joy that, oh, wow, this is a movie, oh, I'm good to this is a revelation. I look at the way this allegory was told. I, I'm, going to, I'm going to shoot this movie now. And so I wrote it, I wrote it. In fact, that time I already printed the script and distributed to the cast that would take the role that time. Uh, but um, along the line, some things came to play and um, we could not shoot it. What really happened, I'm going to be telling you as we move forward in this video. I'm to talk about the script. I played the role of princess in the movie Two Mates. Princess was the second maid sent you know, by the devil to cause havoc, to deceive people, to change the course, to distract them from accepting the truth, which is the course. So that was what I played in, um, in two minutes. The role of charity was was um, something that charity was this local girl. She's, she's so local, but the unique thing about her is she was a special. She was a special girl, and she had she had powers. She was not just the usual person. She was just she was a unique personality. She, she was a unique person. Sorry. She was a unique person and she had she had um, she had powers. Yeah, like the father said, she gave power. <laughs> so she had powers and she she people really didn't know who she was at the beginning. They didn't know, but she was an agent of God, like an angel, like an angel sent by God to prepare the way. That was what that was what um I wrote to me. The script to me it's a revelation from God trying to explain the coming of Christ in a dynamic way. We all know, those that saw it, we actually know what I'm talking about. You know, nobody will know we're talking about the coming of Christ from the beginning until we got to the very end. And the way we told this, the story of the coming of Christ was in a dynamic, in a magical, in a way that um, you know, people, will be able to be, people will be able to sink into the story before they eventually know that, wow, wow. This is it. So the script is a revelation from God. It's uh, in, in, part, in partition from God at that time. You imagine that time I was still young. I was still very young, young in the faith, young in the ministry. But the Lord was still able to bring that kind of uh, you know story to 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 us. This is just a lesson. You are not young. There is nothing like is a young guy in the kingdom. We are not young in the kingdom. In fact, the Bible says that those who are small shall be mighty. In this kingdom, we are not actually small. We are all we are always mighty. It it will look. We, we, could, we may be young in age, actually, but no, it doesn't limit what God can do through us once we are ready and available vessels for Him. So the script is a revelation from God, and I, it's something that I really appreciate God for, and I don't think for granted at all. Uh, my first time experience, you know? Yeah, um, I would not say that it was my first time on stage, because on set rather, because I have been on set maybe I think like three times 
but has not been you know, a major role like this. So I would say that the experience was completely different from what I've been having in the past. But this time around, it was a bit challenging. I really had my fears, even before leaving home. I had my fears of like, it's my first time and I've not done this kind of thing before. And I have to stand before people to do, <laughs> to shoot, <laughs> to, to act. So I had my fears already and, you know, I've not been praying that God will. In fact, became a major prayer friend that like, God just help me how to do this. And, you know, on getting to the set, wow. The people I met there, in fact, they really made things so easy for me. I met with um, very friendly people, you know, they made everything so, so, so easy for me. So I was so happy and, you know, though at first it wasn't easy. In fact, for the first few hours that I had to be on set and, you know, it wasn't easy being the first time and, you know, I was doing everything in fear. But as time went on, as time went on, it became easy. In fact, to the extent that, the, the director knew that this person definitely must be a first timer so i immediately he noticed that he has to talk to me like hey we need to put more energy in this so i had to like as at that time i knew i wasn't for it so i just had to put in my best and i, I think i prayed and God just helped me so i met with great people and they made the work so easy after all why we didn't shoot the movie at that time was because um <clears throat> What the movie was calling for, was demanding for, was something that we cannot get. You know, the the house of the of the, the major protagonist, that is Mr. Kinsley, having a lot of workers. You can see before we can get a house that will be. In fact, what we used now was was still managed. That was not the mind. We had to reduce those workers. Yes. So we, we needed a house that can contain a lot of workers, big with several departments, the chef department, where's going to be Liber chef department, the gardeners, the you know, gate men. We want, we want to depict the house of a great man that have workers in the house. That time nobody knows me, so I cannot just walk up to anybody and say I want to shoot in your house. Besides, the capacity to get those people, get the crew, get the cast to take that role was there's no way I can I can get it. So when I read the script, as beautiful as it was, my members were saying, "Ah, oh, let's shoot, oh, let's shoot. We, we 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 can shoot." So we left the script. So when we left the script, along the line, five years after, I picked it up again to try if I can shoot. But still, I still could not shoot that story at that particular time because of what is the money for the finance and everything so but i i just felt this story must come out to the world so at that, after five years later i just i dropped the script and you know i we i moved from one house to the other from one house to the other so this year while the law was giving us assignment for the year 2021 and we were writing our shooting schedule for for this year and the lord said two maids where's two maids I was like two maids. I was thinking I was, I lost it. I could not get the script. So we were just looking for, and, I, and I, I cannot write the story again because I don't really know the concept like that again. So we were like, how do we get this story? So we were looking everywhere, Elta Skelter, we went around because I've, I've lived in two, three, four houses to where I'm living now. So I, I looked, I looked, I looked until we eventually got this one copy of two mates we don't have the soft copy anymore because you know phones have changed so this one the one we got had been eaten by mosquitoes by rats rodents you can see how dilapidated the script has become and i said wow then i i decided to read the script what i was i said wow is this the story is this the story this story so we were happy that we found the story but thank God, as much as the rodent ate the script, it did not eat the lines. As much as the, the rodent ate the back page, ate the parabandi, ate, it did not touch the lines. It did not touch the dialogues. So we were able to see the dialogues. Though the dialogues were, were dirty with the brown faces of the cockpit, but we were able to read between the lines and say, wow. And I decided I would not add anything to the story. The story was the way it was written. I didn't add a scene. I didn't subtract a scene. That was the way it was. Then I now told one of the boys, I said, go and retype the scripts. 
So we retyped it and then we brought it out and then we wanted to shoot. But do you know that the challenge we had that time, something like that happened and we we're almost cancelling. Why? You're going to sit in this video. And where have you been, fool? Eh? Who do you know around here? Oh, I see. You have been going around to see men, Abi. Ah, but calm down. Now, you, Charity, where exactly have you been? We've looked for you all day. Where exactly have you been? I don't know, sir. I suppose go to my papa business. Eh? What did you say? I say I go to my papa business. This girl has some infantry. Are you crazy or something? I, did you hear what she said? It's a lie. She even usually go to go and see those men, even in the night. Hey! Shut up! Now, we faced fresh challenges again. But we picked up this story. It got me, I was like, what? What again? We won't shoot this movie again. Ah, okay. If we are not shooting this movie, then no, that movie will be shot. Because when we picked up the story again, I had already given the cast the, the script, giving the crew the script. They already they were saying, wow, this is big. But we kept on looking for locations again to shoot. You know, like we always do, go to people's houses, give us a house, we want to shoot a movie, and they will just give it to us. This one, all doors were shut. We went to the house of rich men, Christians. They would tell them, you can't, you can't shoot in my house. If you want to use the compound, we went to, in fact, God said, what is happening? God, build a house for us. Give us a movie estate. We can be bringing out movies for the world. Enough of this insult. It's an insult to kingdom. When you go to the house of a rich man who is a Christian, a child of God, and the Lord has given you money to build the house, and you cannot allow a Christian movie to be shot in it. We went to many places. There was no way. And the location day is getting closer. And we were like, how are we going to do it? Along the line while planning for this location, I was invited to another location that clashed with the date of this one. And it was, it was a Mount Zion location. So I was like, how am, I, how am I going to do it? So I was shuttling between the two. You know, that's another challenge. Shuttling between the two and this other one. The location, we, 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 we could not get a place to shoot the movie. There was no house. So when it got about three to four days to the location, we still had no solution. Those who promised us failed us. So we were bent on cancelling it again. And it was so tough. The, it was so tough. So it got to a point we now got the, the one we eventually used, we got that one, and they said it's going to be on rentage. That they are going to charge us 70,000 naira per day to shoot the movie there. I, I don't think I've ever paid for location before. Why now when I want to shoot two mates? 70,000 per day and being the major you know location of the movie we will shoot for like two to three days that's about 210,000 naira for the location alone and at that point I people told me let me cancel this location it's not wise to spend the amount of money to, to for a gospel movie a ghost movie that there's no money there no place to sell it, no, there is no marketing for it. You will now spend that money on a Christian movie put on YouTube. And how much is your YouTube? YouTube does not pay 10% of the production costs. So why is this making sense? Let's let's either we use use, use we look for a, a place that will be free or, or we postpone it in when we will be able to have the, the, a good location for it. So it's not time. I was not it's not time. Then when is it time to talk about the coming of Christ? When is it, when is time? When is it going to be time to, to talk about the coming? It has been time since 10 years ago. It has been time five years ago. Now it's not time again. We will cancel again. It, I was dumping. I, I was even saying they let reduce the price. I said, no, it's 70,000 per day. I went back, it was about two days. The crews were calling, the cars, the, the crew were calling, the cars were calling. Uh, but for me, what was happening? We have not seen the this. Are we not shooting again? The girlfriend was asking, when are we going to the market to buy food for food stuff and this one? But we didn't know what to do. People advised me to cancel it. My friends told me it's not making sense. Cancel this location. Where do you get the money? People told me, don't do it. It's too costly. It's not making sense. Cancel it. It's not your time. Let's put it forward. 
And then I, I, I was damping. I was just alone in my room. Throughout the night, I could not. I was just thinking, God, what is happening? That's about the day two. What, what, what's going to happen? And then I had his voice gentle in my spirit. And then he told me these words. He said, Is anything too much to give to my kingdom? Are you saying anything is too much to give to my kingdom? Me, Femi, my kingdom? Then I felt less of a loving God. I said, God, Jesus, nothing is too much to give to your kingdom, but I don't have the means. I don't have the means. How do I get that money? I don't have the means. So then launch out in faith. Launch out in faith, okay? Launch out in faith. God, I, I'm not ready to play this, this same, this game, the faith game with you this time around. The location is tomorrow. This game, faith, this faith game, this time I'm not ready to play it too. Launch out in faith for the location of tomorrow. <laughs> said, if you want big results, if you want big surprise, if you want big dimension, if you want big uh, 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 sacrifice, uh, big, if you want big uh, uh, blessings, then you have to give a big sacrifice, something that will cost you something. Huh. But if I give 140,000 for two days or 210 for three days for this location, then that's nothing again in the budget because there's no money to show this movie. Who do I tell? Who do I call to? Who do I invite? Who do I, be? I, I, I don't beg for money. So what do I do? Then one of the brothers uh, who works with the Mount Zion, that's Botundi Owa, he just told me, Prophet me, hello son. Hello son, who is it? Bro, what? I said, hello son. Go and pay. So I called the PM. That's Bro Taiwa. I said, let's go. So you pay and I said, I'm paying. Ah. Hey, what you poor Jew? I said, let's go and pay. So we called the woman and we paid. Why I paid? It was there we had again that. He has to pay for under 20,000 extra for caution or I don't know, refundable if things are not spoiled there. So we paid the money. It was that same day. Hello, please, let's come. Let's come. We are going for location. No, we're not sending money for welfare. Which is going to happen. No, we'll shoot. So. And then people came around and then the movie then became a reality. And then we could manage, we have to reduce the casts of the workers because of the house and do some things to the story so that we'll be able to manage the house we have that we still paid for and that was our if if not because of what god told me we'll have canceled the location but the lord told us to shoot it at that time and we shot it it was not easy it was sacrifice i'm telling you to me it was sacrifice we were emptied and emptied i have something to say to this what i saw charity here last night casting some spell around this place uh -huh. i saw her and i have a witness who is your witness? Adams. No, 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 no. I, I saw you here yesterday now. Me? I was watching you from my hiding place. It wasn't charity. It's you, princess. Ah. Mm. What, what kind of a joke is this? What are you guys doing? Ah. Ah. Honey, honey, what is going on? I don't know. Tell them to wake up now. What is all this? Will you get up? Ha. Huh. Charity. Charity came into the came into the scene, into the house, and she, she had passed because of the special being she was, she had passed and she knew that the option she had an opponent, the other lady, which was princess, she knew that she was in for it, she was in for an evolution. And she had to she had to double up in her agenda. Like I said, she was an agent, she was more like an agent of God sent to prepare the way and the likes. So she had to she had to do everything to rescue people that's by sharing the cross and the cross was like the salvation like preaching the message of salvation so the cross was a representation of salvation sharing to people and all that so charity well <laughs> the the role was so challenging to me in fact for the fact that i had to i had to pick up i had to shoot i had to deliver my lines in pigeon I, i'm not a pigeon person i don't even know how to it doesn't go well so in my mouth and you know but i remember one time i was praying when i took when i read the script and i was praying and somehow somehow i remember this vividly like okay this was going to go for pigeon and i'm like how do i do it so i discarded the voice in fact 
I think I called somebody that day. I think I told somebody like, okay, like ah, pigeon. How do I go about this pigeon? And I was just asking the person. The person like ah, no man, no man now. <laughs> Princess, then to me, um, is 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 now all over the world, in the sense that the enemy has sent or the devil has sent princesses into the world to distract people from focusing on Christ, to distract them from the sound doctrine of, of the gospel. And you know, even in our personal lives, one thing or the other, one way or the other, you find out that there are some kind of people that you know they 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 are really not what they truly have. Or they are not they are really not what they appear to be. Because you could that princess in that movie she was you know, to the boss, she was like a good one, you know, trying to be nice, madam, you can do this, madam, you can do this. Deep down, she had devilish reasons behind why she was doing what she was doing. So not only princesses, we also have princes too, sent by the kingdom of darkness to mm -hmm. devour children of God, to devour daughters of Zion. They're all over the place. So as believers, we need the discerning spirits of God to be able to identify them at any point in time that we come across them in our lives. We are happy to be relevant at this time. We are happy that the movie is shot at this time. Blessing lives everywhere. Bringing people to their knees. Bringing people to tears. Bringing people to, 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 to a wake-up call that, 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 that the, the coming of Christ is imminent. We thank God. Now, this is the lesson there. Whatever assignment and dream and vision you have for kingdom that is like it's not going to it's, it's, it's not visible now. Please don't be discouraged. The time is coming. Just keep it. Oh, I'm writing scripts, sir. I'm a good script writer. I've written, written, written. It's been a blessing to life. Nobody to help me shoot it. My brother, my sister, continue writing. Continue writing the scripts. Continue writing. I'm keeping them. Just keep them. Don't be careless like me that a uh, cockroach ate it. Continue writing. Keep them. The time you will shoot them is coming. For that time, the script you have written will not be enough to shoot. Because we are we are entering a season in Christian film now. I will call it the rat, the rat, I mean, the rat race release of gospel movies. Because this is the time we have to be releasing, occupying and releasing it now. We can't be stranded this time. We can't be, we can't be stranded. We have to keep on shooting the movies now. Close our ears to distraction. So please, whatever thing the Lord is putting in your mind that you feel like I can't do now, please, you will do it. Write it. Keep it. The time is coming. The time will always come. Two minutes have been written for, a, for many years ago. We thought we won't shoot it. But now is a reality. Whatever dream you have, I prophesy into your life, shall be a reality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Charity. What are you doing here around this time? It's 2 a.m. for God's sake. Oga, now you are the wait for. Ah, me? How do you mean? Because I know so you could come ask me some questions. Charity, just tell me. Who are you? Oga, make we leave that one for now. As time they go, you go know where I be. I don't understand. The other day you said something about your father. Tell me, what exactly is your father's business? Make I they tell people about my papa coming. Okay, tell me more. Oga, you see, my papa be king. And he get plenty, plenty wealth. He can get sons and daughters all over the places where they tell people about him coming. Because anytime from now, my papa feel come. And only people who accept our constitution could go with my papa. Charity, I believe you, even though those words sound incredible. Oga, and I only want thing it takes to qualify to follow my papa go. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Um, and that is? Oga, now be this. Now only person will get this cross go fit follow my papa go when you come. Anybody will accept this cross must to all am well. In fact, you feel keep on for your back. Tightly, or make a whole lamp, but you go make sure say nothing come out this thing for your hand. How I eventually got money for the production, I know many people now want to hear. How how how, how was I able to get money for that for the house and all that? What happened was that the entire budget I had for the film productions was what I first of all cleared and paid for the building. 
So it's now left with how do we now pay the cast and the crew for the location? This is what happened. I carried the cast along. I carried the brethren along. I told them what was happening. I told them the, the, the situations we faced. I told them what really happened. And I told them that, oh, please, they, they will be, they're going to bear with me that what i supposed to give them, I may not be able to give them up to that. So that reduced uh, the, the location budget to what I gave to the cast and crew because a lot had gone to the location. That's number one. Number two was that while we were on set, the Lord was just sending people to random people. Hello, brother, me. We had you are shooting two minutes now. You are doing a very good job, my brother. Uh, please, uh, the Lord just led me to just put something to your account. Send me your account number, and then they put something to the account that time during that time. You know, God, God has this way of raising people for His projects at a part time. So people you know stood up for us at that time and they, they sent some things to our account and then that was how we were able to manage actually we managed that's not the truth we, we had to rush the work we rushed the work that's the truth so it was the blessings of god from people that's why i i keep telling people if you are not in the ministry of drama but god has god has blessed you god has blessed you you know god has blessed you but you like what we are doing your children are being blessed by what we are doing. Your family are being blessed by what we are, you are, we are doing. You see us do them. There's nothing bad in being a patron, being somebody who will come to the ministry and give them, you know, blessings of God from you. It, you know, the blessings of God comes from, from God through men to men. But by, by doing that, you are also involved in the work. The reward will come to you too. So I, I, I want to say thank you for those people who have been reaching out to us. Who, who God has laid it in their heart to always surprise us and bless our lives and ministry with, with, with their, their resources. It's my prayer that God will keep blessing you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. <laughs> Choosing the cast and crew for this location was exact, especially the, the two maids. I, for one reason or the other, God does God do not want me to shoot, to use gospel vectorans like people who are established i was like god this this how, this sees this major two mates how, how, people that have, that have professionals that can act so that's why i should do the character well done but it's like no no people that have not acted before people that cannot even do it that's a good use. i want to i want to use those people that can, that, can, that 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 are not really good actors who cannot act well who, who don't have the experience and i want to bring them out to, to bring out the message so when I wrote the movie 10 years ago, my kid sister, the, the one that acted the role of princess is my kid sister. So she took up and raised it, ah, brother, I react this, I react this. She was a secondary school then. I really want to react this two maids. You really want to two maids in here. You want to shame me. You want to say, how can you, I'm speaking to you, brother, those are the people international community. You say, I will do the one, I will do it, I will do the rest. I how will you do this role? It's a powerful role. It's a role of, eh? you don't have this, ah, I will do it, I will do it. If we are going to shoot the movie at that time, there's no way she wants to do a character. It's not possible. When I got the script and I saw the title, sincerely, I had no clue of what could be there. But I started reading. And as I kept on reading, I was still not getting a proper you know, understanding and where the, where the script would end. But when I read it all, I saw that it was just a complete inspiration from the Holy Spirit because there was no way you could probably say, okay, from this point, this is the next thing that would happen or where the story would end. So I want to really, 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 you know, commend the writer of the script that it was, it was really, really the work of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that the Lord will continue to help him more. The script, so made. See, the thing is, when I got the script at first, I was like, Okay, I was anxious to read the script like, okay, two me, check out, let me see what's inside, let's see uh, what, what's up with this two me thing. And so I was thought it was a usual thing, like two me, you know, the usual settings of two me, the house. When I got the script and I read the first five, in fact, I read all through because immediately I got it, I got it like two weeks, yeah, two weeks, if I'm not mistaken, or a week and some days to the location. And immediately I got it. Immediately I was sent, I took the script, I opened it, I just read through because I was anxious to see what was there. So I read through and you know, the excitement like, okay, it's the usual to me thing and all that. When I read it and I got to 
the end of the script. Then I took a deep breath. I'm like, mm -hmm, calm down. <laughs> then I knew this was not just an ordinary script. It was not the excitement I had on my head was totally off. In fact, it wasn't it. Sorry. So it wasn't it at all. So when I read it and I was, I finished it. I was like, wow, this is this pure salvation message and a reminder of the coming of Christ in disguise. And really I saw that, I was just like, God, how do I do this? In fact, I just had to close the script and I didn't touch it in. Tomorrow was the location, I think I picked it up. Yeah. So I I, I, I was just praying, I was like, God, hey, this is salvation message. This is this is a message preaching readiness of Christ. How do I do this? So, but I prayed, I prayed, I took God to help me. But that was the major thing I did, just praying and telling God, how do I do this? Give me the right reaction for each scene and all that. And you know what? I think it was just God that helped. So it was really, really a big deal for me. But I just gave God all the glory because he helped me. So when we were this, if I this year too, I had already said I'm not going to use her. Yeah. And she's a very she's a she's a friend to uh the other sister Esther that took that took the other the other uh, I think charity. So when when she introduced me, okay, Esther, she can also I said, these people know you have not acted before. You don't come and spoil this uh, film for us. So what can you do? I gave them script. When I told them to do Riaza before the location, the way they were doing, I would say, ha, ah, hey, how will these people do this thing now? I, but the Lord just told me to leave them and pray for them. So I prayed for them and I left them. On the first day of the shoot, the daughter said, Bro, family, let's change this cast. They are not giving us at all. And they are the ones that are supposed to build up this tree. They are not giving us at all. I said, ah. I called my sister to the room. I said, Glory, please, I'm sorry. I don't want to put sentiment into this. I kingdom, I, I take kingdom, I take a result of kingdom than any other thing, please. I might need to change your role. Please, but for me, I will do it. I will try my best. So that you, I, I don't know how to seduce people. I don't know how to, I don't know how to act. I don't know how to do the eyes. They say I should be doing eyes like this. I don't know how to do it. And I'm doing it. I'm just making jest of me. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of encouraged that. I invited the director to do your money. He also encouraged that. So in the evening of the first day, they started catching up until they were able to do what you saw them do. So if you think they did well, uh, go to the comment section, bless them, celebrate them, appreciate them. If you think they did well, appreciate them. For me, I think they did well and the, 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 the story was still okay. Their acting was still perfect. So it was a challenge seeing the, the, the two mates. But I, I believe that you've been hearing from them already in this video. You, you look to hear all the things about the challenges they faced along the course of the movie. Blessing from the movie. Ah. Hmm. Personally, two mates taught me watchfulness two mates taught me to be careful two mates taught me to always pay more attention to myself to pay more attention to myself than pay more attention to others two mates taught me to be to be to be to be very very watchful and to be very careful because we have a lot of distraction out there out there that distract so many people and you know they get carried away and you know people tend to do a lot of things in the canopy of of christ meanwhile they are already outside it you know and they make it look as if it's still christ meanwhile they're totally far from me so two men personally taught me a fact since since i i played that role i'm always like god please help me i can't afford to act this kind of thing and you know and, and not be prepared and not meet up and all that. So it has always even kept me the consciousness of like, hey, Adam, you have to always be very, very careful. So Two Mates is a movie that everyone should see. And it's a movie filled with so much, so, so much lessons for us to learn. As a Christian, we have to be very watchful. We have to be very, very sensitive. Lessons from the movie go to everybody. The cast, the crew, the viewers and personally it was just a reminder that as believers or as a believer I should wake up guard my loins and get prepared for the coming of Christ because Christ's coming is imminent and so to the whole world it's a message and a warning that as believers we should be prepared for the second coming of Christ 
And as it is now, there are distractions already all over the place, especially even in the kingdom of God. Like, amidst the believers, normally it's always um, preaching to sinners, telling sinners to give their lives to Christ. But now, the tide has changed. We as believers, we need to sit down and talk to ourselves and check our lives and make sure that there is nothing that can stop us from making it when Christ comes. So, I pray the Lord will make us ready in the name of Jesus. Another lesson I learned from this, the, the two myth casting is that, um, you know, God can use anybody. He can use anything. Yes. Seeing the way those sisters now performed on the movie, it's, it's really caught me that, oh wow, they work like they've been working on films before. So God can use anything. All the, the Lord wants from us is availability. Releasing myself, Lord, this is who I am. This is what I am. Just use me. God can use anything. And about the role I took in the movie, taking cross and touching, uh, <laughs> Hey, the all repentant and yahoo guy. Um, mm, nothing new. People have been seeing me in movies and um, we thank God for that also. Uh, but it's, I think they just talk about people who, uh, uh, you know, the guy really, he, he has, after he, he got the cross, he still did not want to stop doing the yahoo business. You know, people want the, the dividend of kingdom, they want the, the benefit of the cross. But they don't want to stop what they are doing. And it doesn't work like that. You can't eat your cake and have it again. Uh, you, you, you understand that um, when you come for kingdom, you come for kingdom. You, so that, that, that's how it, it should be. You know what you stand for. And the Bible says, all that fasts to which thou hast. No man take thy crown, and no man take thy cross. The producer, that's the person of um, Borofemi Adebili. Borofemi Adebili is a man of vision. Is a man of purpose. He's an hardened lover of kingdom business. He's so resilient. He's someone that, um, when he sets out to do something, especially from the kingdom, nothing helps matter. So, um, and he's also passionate about raising up people that are ready to be useful in the kingdom of God. So I pray for him that the Lord will continue to help him. Amen. The Lord will continue to uphold him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Um, one peculiar thing I've known about him and um, that's always been a motivation to me is the kind of zeal he has for the things of God. The zeal he has sometimes pushes me to stretch myself for to do more for God because he's never tired. Like he's somebody that is sold out to this gospel thing and he will do everything. I mean he will invest everything. He doesn't mind if he does not have and he has to invest the last thing he has on him to do this thing. So that's you know that um that that passion that passion for the things of God is one thing I appreciate about him. And again, Fedjo's Baba, Prophet Madibli is so is a person that accommodates people. He's so accommodating. He loves especially young people. When he sees potential in you, he tends to it tends to bring you closer once you're ready to learn. The thing is just be ready, just be willing to move along with him and he will make sure that he brings the best out of you. He's so accommodating, he doesn't look down on people, he tries as much as possible to maximize whatever potential he sees in everyone, especially in the youth. And again, he's a very humble person, so, so humble. He's very humble, you know, he, he he's, he's so submissive. Sometimes I just, I just, I just look at him, or sometimes I watch his movie, or sometimes I see him. I've always thought people of his data would be so, you know, all these bossy people. So I've always looked at people like in that caliber, like, okay, these people are bossy, and you know, so I've always wanted to give that face. But when I met him one on one and related with him one or two occasions, I knew that no, he was not that kind of person. He gives listening here, he allows you to express your mind, and you know, it's just, um, a very humble person and is 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 somebody that is um how do i put this is filled with um 
is somebody that is very discerning. Let me put it that way. Is somebody that is very discerning because he, he's not a man of many words, but when he says things, listen well. There are traces of 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 um, godly wisdom from whatever he says, and it does not just talk. It doesn't just talk. Yeah, it doesn't just talk. And I have, I've observed this about him. It doesn't just talk. When he talks, he he talks from 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 God's most times he talks from God's um leading and all that. So he's a very sensitive person. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video from the beginning. I do hope that you've been able to pick one or two things about the this the the interview from the maids are from me. Uh, about the story. It's my prayer that uh, we are going to always be rapturable uh, when, when Christ comes in Jesus' name. We'll be rapturable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And uh, for those who might be led to, uh, you know, support this work, you know, to reach out to the hurting, to the saving ones around the world, you can imagine people who were born again from this movie. People go to the comment section and see a lot of testimonies there. So, you know, and you know, if you just want to preach this message on the pulpit, easily we have done it, but to, to bring it in drama and movie forms is expensive. And I tell you, it's expensive. When you see any drama minister, please always try and appreciate God and then bless them. They, there's nothing that they get from these things. They just do it. They just sold out to the kingdom of God. So if you are led to be a, a support, a sponsor to our ministry permanently, or you want to be doing it from time to time, or you want to support us now, we have our account numbers, both the domiciliary and the Naira account displayed on the screen. Now, now it is displayed. Now you can see it. Now, please, you can, you can, you can just post your screen down, get our details, and be a blessing to us, so that we'll be able to do more, 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 more for the kingdom of God. This kingdom needs resources, and if you are blessed, be a blessing. You are not blessed for yourself. No, when you are blessed, you have to be a blessing to a generation, so that whatever when you die, this starts to be in your crown that you have been a blessing to kingdom, not just to yourself and to your bellies. So thank you very, very, very much. God bless you. I want to advise you to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram at Fejus Prem, at Fejus Baba TV, and um, always subscribe to our YouTube channel for more and more of this. For those asking for Kembe Sun Season 4, Kembe Sun Season 4 and Season 5 will be coming up next month, the month of June. Thank you very much.